Actually, I'm thinking I might make this one portrait for a change. This is, this is the way the original is. Original size. I'll call it that. Go back and we're going to enlarge 400%. I'm going to go here, I'm going to make it copied paper, and we're going to make glossy, text enhance, background remove, edit color, negative positive, color adjust, sharpness, copy density, we're going to use saturation brightness we're going to make it as dark as possible because we're copying in negative and contrast and we call that quits and we call it that and now we're just going to get it okay we've done one of these before but this time this one's a little different this is a, a bill my photocopier bill envelope and it's got Mitronics, of course, that's the company. And what we're copying is the stamp. We're taking the scat. We're once again doing another stamp, courtesy of the Mitronics. So that's really nice. I just hope I... Now, that's just going to make it be a bit of a problem here. So I just straighten it up. And we're just going to put the dock feeder down. And we're just going to hit the start key. And then let it rip. It doesn't have a rip. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot exactly what a rip is, what a rip does when it's, you know, connected to a photocopier. I'm not sure what exactly it does. I think it improves the quality or something over the normal system alone. But this one's just a standalone copier. That's how it's been configured at the moment. And we have, what we have here is a fucking paper jam. Okay, let's, let's see if we can learn, let's see if we can learn this. All right, now it says pull this cover open. Oh, this is no good. I don't like this. So that cover's open. There's nothing there. It's going to give me... Hang on. It's warming up now. Let's hope it works. Doesn't sound healthy. It's warming up, ready to scan. I'm wondering if it's going to start up without me. Ready to accept another job. Here it goes, automatically starting to copy. Let's hope it's not a technical. Let's hope it's just a, a paper jam because the paper's been, the, maybe the paper's a little bit damp. So if the paper's damp, it, it increases the propensity of a paper jam, if I'm correct. So hopefully. But I've got to think it's, it's not just there. It says it's there. But I can't see it, so I'm going to do some investigation and I'm going to pull open the paper tray and see if it's just a fucking misfeed. I don't... This is the problem with copier systems. They're not as accurate as they should be when it comes to a jam clearance. Because, you know, the paper could be anywhere. I just don't know. I haven't even looked at the place where the jam occurred. So I'm really concerned about this. I'm not an expert on jam clearance. This is something that has that rarely happens. And I've also lost my settings. My settings are gone. Ready to accept another job. And here it goes again. It's going to start without my settings. I don't know what to do. Konica Minolta have really made a hash of this. Konica Minolta have done a bad job. They did a terrible job. They make a paper jam into a big meal into a big issue oh fuck it looks like it's saying to open the front door ah oh, shit I don't know what to fucking do with this I don't know where the jam is I can't find the fucking jam I don't even know how to clear a jam oh, fuck fuck wait a sec this is what I have to pull down oh shit it's jammed in the fuser See if we can gently extricate it. Fuck. Oh, shit. It's 
It's a problem. Oh, fuck. Just look at the instructions here. So we pull the paper down. So we go one. There we go two. We meant to pull this one up. I'm very touchy about paper jams. I must not leave any paper left behind in the paper path. hot do you want to carry on I don't know whether I'm trying to ask myself the question <clears throat> shut the machine down this is going to have to be shut down I think we have to call a technician for this job unfortunately we have to call Mitronics so I'm just going to shut this damn thing down and I'm going to have to call for service oh, oh, next Tuesday. So I'm going to have to just shut it down because I believe it's too dangerous for me to clear a jam because I could stuff this fucking machine to buggery. I wish I had, a reached, I wish I had a known how to do it in the first place. But this is not good. I don't like this. I don't like it when something technical happens. So I'm just shutting it up. And I've just got to remind myself, we're just going to unplug the fucker. This has cut my demo series short. So now we've got a problem with this damn photocopier. Got to clear the jam. I'm sure the technician will find it a breeze to clean, clear this one. This will be an easy job for the technician. But I'm sorry, folks. Party's over. Party's fucking over. Sorry, guys. Paper jam.